Hey, hello. Welcome to Science Share Chorus. The whole education system in India is running behind technology to provide education to all the students. Yes, education is already through online and all the teachers are mastering the skills in the virtual classes. So, I am here to give some of my suggestions to improve upon and make these online classes interesting. So, let's begin. The first thing to be concentrated is the position of the camera. Make sure that you are sitting comfortable in a good position with a good background. Also concentrate on your dress code and make sure you are with a pleasant smile which should be welcoming for the students. The second thing is eye contact. Since both the students and the teachers are very much habituated with the real classes where there would be more of eye contact and uh, a personal attachment, these virtual classes would be strange to both of them, right? So, uh, as a teacher, you should be calling out at least 5 to 10 students per day, like in each class, and uh, ask them to switch on their camera and have some conversation with them, which would uh, recreate this personal attachment. The next thing is that it would be always better if you begin your class by discussing about interesting and informative topics, such as you can ask your students to tell about their uh, favorite books, or uh, you can ask their views on uh, various incidents happening in the society or uh, even you can start your class uh, by telling a short motivational story. So uh, this would be very much helpful in having a healthy rapport with our students. So to give an example, recently with my students, I just uh, showed them a video on uh, Nobel Prize ceremony where a Nobel laureate in chemistry was uh, speaking about the importance of basics in science. So the students were very much curious in uh, knowing about this Nobel laureate and uh, the thing when he was uh, talking about the importance of basics, uh, the students were uh, very much motivated. So make sure that you are uh, beginning your class by uh, having some healthy discussions. Going to the next one, the major drawback in this online class is that teachers won't be able to write anything on the board, right? And uh, most of our students uh, uh, will be habituated uh, with our uh, blackboard works. So in this current situation, we can make use of a device called as XP Pen Tablet, uh, which can replace our traditional blackboard works. So let me tell you how it works. Uh, we can connect this XP Pen Tablet uh, either to our uh, computer or laptop or even uh, to our uh, mobile phone. So uh, using the pen provided, you can just write down whatever you want on the tablet. So uh, when you're writing, simultaneously it comes on the screen. So whatever you write on the tablet, it comes on the screen. So this would help us to replace our blackboard works. So uh, if you're interested to buy this uh, XP pen tablet, I have uh, given the link in the description box. So you can just uh, buy it. When it comes to classroom, there is a heterogeneous group of learners, right? Uh, so according to each student's potential and cognitive level, we can make use of this online class and provide them individualized instructions and assignments such that the learning is taking place in a very organized way and uh, it would be helpful for them also. Uh, the next thing, uh, concentrate more in their writing and reading skills and try to engage them with uh, lots and lots of activities which would improve their writing and reading skills. For the lower grades, you can try to cover the abstract concepts in these virtual classes. Uh, so there are various uh, simulations online, uh, which would be a great helping hand for you to transact uh, these abstract uh, concepts like uh, states of matter, uh, atomic structure, and uh, in physics, uh, energy, and all those things. So uh, this would make the uh, teaching learning process very much effective. Uh, so these are my suggestions. Hope this video would help you in the virtual classes some way. Uh, if you like this video, please do like, uh, share with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.